Hi, this is David Reimer with Magnificent Marketing, and we just got back from yet another very successful Content Marketing World Conference, which is my favorite marketing conference of the year. And we had the pleasure of teaming up with 33 of the very top experts in the country. And they uh, gave us their top takeaway of what they learned at the conference, as well as where they see the future of the industry heading. So if you're into just getting into content marketing, or if you've even fully matured into this industry, uh, you're definitely going to learn something. So enjoy these few video tips that we have here, as well as the takeaways below, and happy learning. Hey Dave, and everyone on the team at Magnificent. Uh, this is Andy from Orbit Media with a super quick tip that we talked about at Content Marketing World in Cleveland. It's to turn your day-to-day -day sent email into powerful, helpful, useful, high-ranking content. Simply look in your outbox, look in your sent mail folder and see if you maybe haven't written long detailed answers to important questions that are in a personal tone, exactly what your audience needs. There's a good chance that you should be publishing the things that you send out an email every day as social media marketers would have us, uh, have us know. Never waste a good conversation by having it in private. So take a look at who you're writing to, what you're writing about. Maybe those are topics that you should be publishing on. And maybe you've kind of got that thing already half written. Hope this is useful. Thanks, guys. It's Julia McCoy, the founder of Express Writers here. I'm at CM World. I'm participating for Dave at Magnificent Marketing Roundup. Just left Jay Bayer's session on how to promote yourself by creating less content, not more. And I thought what he said about volume mentality was just amazing. That the only way to create content that matters is to be human based. So we have to stop creating mediocre content. And that was the essence of Jay's message. And he even ended with the robots are coming. And if we don't create better content and we keep creating that stale content, our jobs could be replaced by robots. So I thought that was pretty epic and it's time to start creating content that is human-based and just as epic as we can create. Hi, this is Carla Johnson with Type A Communications and my top takeaway from Content Marketing World this year was from Tim Washer's session on using improv techniques in content marketing. Tim shared that the first rule of improv is to support your partner and that it's all about not how can I look good, but what can I do to support the work that my partner does. And I think that if we look at that from the perspective of content marketers and how can we do things that always support our partners, we'll make an incredibly strong content marketing team. Thanks. Hey everybody, Christoph Trapp here, the authentic storyteller. Here's my top tip from Content Marketing World. Tell the stories that are unique to you, that are helpful to your uh, target audience, and you win. The best and most unique and most helpful stories help businesses win. They can make or break them. No pressure. Hi, I'm Doug Kessler from Velocity Partners. David and the magnificent folks at Magnificent asked me to contribute my top uh, takeaway from Content Marketing World this year. It was another great event. They keep doing it year after year. Um, I had a lot of good takeaways, so it's it's hard to pick one. I'm going to go with um, Joe Polizzi's keynote about uh, turning marketing from a cost center into a profit center by essentially going down the media route, uh, building an audience, serving that audience, and um, then profiting from it afterwards, or at least in parallel, as he did with Content Marketing Institute. Uh, I think it's a pretty bold model. Uh, there's some great precedent for it. You know, it's, it's doable. Uh, it's scary, which is always good, and it feels very of the moment. Uh, I like it because it protects you from the the kind of um, digital social advertising cartel, which clearly is at best inefficient and at worst um, fraudulent. Um, so, yeah, that's my top takeaway. Build your own audience, build a direct relationship with the people you need to talk to, and then you kind of earn the right to sell them stuff. <laughs>